We all love the sound of money, and a $1,500 sign-on bonus sounds even better. That's right, Belicio Foods of Jackson is offering a $1,500 sign-on bonus to new employees. Receive an extra $100 your first six weeks, then $400 after day 90, and $500 after day 180. Don't wait. Apply online at BelicioFoods.com slash careers today. That's BelicioFoods.com slash careers. Come work for a company who truly values their employees. Come work for Belicio Foods. Good I morning. made it. <laughs> oh, this is just going all downhill real quick. No, uh, James just did a sprint and like. Does it count as going downhill if you already start in the valley? We started in the valley. <laughs> like we're. <clears throat> Good morning, Good everyone. Morning. Um, we're glad you tuned in and thank you. And we have a guest coming in. They're just not quite here yet. I'm the oh, guest. James is the guest too. As he came sprinting over and leapt in the. Uh, I got to get in shape for pickleball, baby. Yeah, that's right. I don't know how to play pickleball. I don't know either. How about pie baking? I can bake a pie. I think I'm going to use a freaking Pil Pillsbury crust, though. I ain't making it from scratch. <laughs> You're not going to roll it yeah. out and knead it and i don't know do you need pie crust i don't, I don't know. know i've never made a pie crust me neither so well yeah. maybe i have i don't know. maybe i helped mom do it maybe. anyway yeah good morning so good morning we're just rambling but uh we do have a, a guest some guests coming in from the ymca we do. talk about something cool this weekend <clears throat> that they have going on they do and it's a it's lot of things <clears throat> a lot of things community appreciation night Coming up this Friday, so we'll be talking about that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah? I'm really bummed out about this Olivia Newton-John thing, by the way. I'm just telling oh. you. How so? she passed away. Yeah? Because, you know, we grew up watching Grease, and, and she was an 80s icon and mm -hmm. um, a lovely human. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things where you... yeah. Just think people will be around forever, and, and they're not, and yeah. uh, hated that. Good news, Dolly Parton visited Ohio yesterday, got to hang did out you, with Fran DeWine. Did you know uh, Roger Donaldson was there? No. We're going to have to get him in, talk about it. He I got was, to meet Dolly, well, and I didn't. I don't I think he got to meet Dolly, but he got to sit in the audience and listen to Dolly. <laughs> She even sang songs. Yeah. Did you see her guitar? Yes. It's freaking bedazzled. Love it. Yeah. It's so Dolly. But yeah, uh, yeah Dolly Parton was in uh, Ohio yesterday and I think mm -hmm. West Virginia too, maybe, but. I don't know. I only saw Ohio, but. <clears throat> I think she stopped two places uh, talking about, met with Fran DeWine, talked about Imagination Library and uh, some other things. Yeah. We need to get Roger in and talk about that because, yeah. oh my God, if I was in the same room with Dolly, I would just I, die. Scrolling through Facebook yesterday i was like they got to go to the dolly thing he went to the dolly <laughs> like everybody was there i was like oh i didn't realize it was that easy to go i know <laughs> can i not be a plus one yeah. for somebody could we not got media pass we probably could have it if we made any effort to i mean fran's our bff she yeah. gave us cookbooks and Friend stuff of the, she gave me a buckeye one time she was down here she talked to us met with us came down yeah. to she came down to see us yeah Exactly. Well, Dolly should come down to see us. I think so too. I'm yeah. gonna make a. I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter. That's very nice. Yeah, I'd just. I'd probably go with like a uh, sugar roses over thorns or whatever the saying is. Yeah. Kill them with uh, kindness. Kindness. Yeah. Sh sugar and honey, honey and yeah. vinegar. But hey, whatever that is. Yeah. So yeah. So <coughs> something happened in Wellston. Yeah. So the. <laughs> So you've got the you got the in full info here. I do. And so, we had quite you, you had quite the reaction when I showed you this a few minutes it ago. It was just very shocking. She just wasn't ready for it. To I me, guess. I was not prepared for <laughs> to look up and see what I saw. But um, so now I understand what it is. <laughs> do you? Sort of. A little bit. Okay. Um, Wellston City Schools accepted a donation of a robotic tackling dummy and <laughs> there it is <laughs> things 160 pounds and can go 16 miles per hour I, I just 
So imagine sitting down in this chair and looking up and you just see that thing yeah. flying around. So it I'm like, like laughing so it hard. It looks like a giant like board game piece just flying Is that what across. it looks like? Yeah, you don't think it looks like a chess <laughs> pawn or something like that? <laughs> That's just not the first thing that six... popped into my mind, well, but okay. okay. <laughs> Fair enough. We all know what's in your um, basement. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, um, no, it was thanks to Jem and Marsha Forrest, who are members of the... Watch this, watch this lady. Yeah, this lady comes out. She's a I glutton for punishment. Oh, I think it's here in a second. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you you're gotta, fine. You gotta catch this lady like, here in a second. She's like... Oh, wait, oh. where did it, where did she go? Oh, wait. Oh. She comes out here in a minute. Yeah. Watch, watch up in the corner. Here she comes. <laughs> 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 oh shoot this is so good um no thanks to jim and marcia force uh they were members of the wh class of 1966 um the high school is now in possession of a robotic self-writing tackling dummy it's valued at approximately thirty five hundred dollars the donation was accepted by the wilson city school board of education during the group's monday night august 8th meeting Near the conclusion of the meeting, board members moved outside to the parking lot um, for a live demonstration of how the, it's called the MVP, Mobile Virtual Player. It's really actually very cool. Um, sprint Training Dummy Works, uh, courtesy of the assistant football coach, Ricky Woodruff. Uh, according to the MVP company, the Sprint model is the newest mobile remote-controlled self-riding padded training dummy. Say that five times fast. Padded training dummy. No, remote controlled self riding padded self-riding training padded training dummy. dummy. Which is designed with high schools in mind. The dummy's capable of speeds of 16 miles an hour, as you said, has a zero radius turning capacity. It weighs in at 160 pounds, has a rechargeable battery that lasts uh, three to six hours, and it can be used on grass or turf. Has a range of 500 yards. It's equipped with an automatic tackle shutoff that goes into effect at the moment of impact, and has steering correction and self-riding technology. Whew! Um, That's some dummy. Yeah, uh, board vice president. It sure is some dummy. Uh, <laughs> let's just watch this. Let's just watch this thing go for a game for a second. I mean, we can make a whole show out of this. Yeah. Um, board vice president Roger Rader told the telegram he believes that Wellston is <clears throat> only the second school district in Ohio to have such a piece of equipment and that these types of robotic tackling dummies are becoming popular among collegiate and professional level football teams. So, um, that's really, really, it's, it's actually really cool if you a, know what it is. Another, <laughs> another highlight of this video that we can't hear is Phil Buffington like giggling. <laughs> When <laughs> watching this thing go. That's awesome. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <sighs> I feel so much like livelier now. Yeah. Well, hey, the crew from the YMCA is here. They are here. Yeah. And we're going to talk about uh, this Community coming Friday. Community Appreciation Night. Yes. Yes. So it should be fun. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give up my seat and let <laughs> these guys come But over. it was so cool how you rolled in. I roll out. Okay. <laughs> He comes sprinting over, jumps in the seat, and, like, rolls into position. Come on over, everybody. Uh, you'll have to bring your chairs with you. And uh, I'll move around. I'll just roll right in. Yeah, you can roll right in, too, Kathy. It doesn't roll very easy. <laughs> I know this carpet's a little bit of a hindrance. <clears throat> but, um, no, we have the gang for the Y, so that's awesome. Very good. If you guys can just put your mics in front of each one of your faces so that, there you go, so that uh, we can hear you. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Oh, I think we're good. Yep. Oh, you guys did good. Okay, great job. Okay, so, my goodness, we have the whole crew here, and uh, I guess introduce yourselves first off. I'm Tim Harvey, the CEO for the Jackson Area YMCA. I'm Wayne Fouts, Sports and Leagues Director. I'm Kathy Eisenhower, volunteer for the Y. Very good, and welcome, welcome to all of you. And you're here to talk about, Kathy has the prettiest nails, by the way. Oh, they need done. They're old. But look how pretty. They're like turquoise. <laughs> My granddaughter's choice. Super cute. 
See, you just, you just brightened up our day <laughs> by your turquoise nails. Um, As we're coming down the hallway and hear you in a fit of laughter, now I know what you're laughing at. <laughs> well, just imagine not knowing the, the context behind that. And so. walking out the door like that poor lady. <laughs> And I just look up and this James has got this video play and I'm just dying. So I'm like, what is that? How's it doing grass? I I mean it's meant for grass and turf, so I I guess good, but we didn't see a demo of it. Um but it seems like it wouldn't be that zippy, but is there an emergency off switch, you know, like you yeah, hit it a couple times. Or? It's remote control and it says that in the story it turns off when you tackle. Yeah, it yeah. says it turns yeah. off when you tackle it. So it's not going to like run you over. And that was like my thing. I'm You're like, "Oh my god, the there's going to be some kid." <laughs> yeah, it's going to be dragging him down the road. Um <laughs> I can see somebody from the high school breaking it and get it, taking it uptown. Yeah, riding right. it like a horse. <laughs> There's just too many things that could go with this thing. Um, anyway, <laughs> it will not be at the YMCA. Not I mean, maybe we, it could be on Friday. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Could be. We, we could have a tackling one. contest. Guy, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah Wayne. Get, we, could do, we could do a tackling be, contest. That would be good publicity. For the Wellston, it would whatever be whatever you call it. <laughs> that would be my lucky run over me. <laughs> and we lost our sports guy. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> all right. Can you guys yes. Talk into the mics a little bit more? Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, pull up. Yeah, close if you would. Sorry. Um, see, so you're in trouble already. My mouth's always big, so I'm always kind of like <laughs> shying away from it. Well, that's all right. Um, okay, so this coming Friday night, tell us about uh, what what the event is, and then what um, people can expect. Well, from 6 to 9 this Friday evening, mm -hmm. we're having the Community Appreciation Night. Um, we are wanting to show our appreciation for the community, everybody that backed us up with getting our dream floor. Have you seen it yet? I, not in person, okay. but I have seen pictures. Okay. Because Tim came in and it's we quite beautiful. showed it. Yes, it's quite it's beautiful. Just absolutely lovely. So that was a huge, huge accomplishment that everybody helped get done, and we appreciate it very much. So um, we're going to have different kinds of activities going on. We uh, First of all, there's going to be a 5K walk that Kelly Meredith is taking charge of. And it's going to I, – I left my map over there with those guys at the radio. But Wonder the route – the route is going to, can you find it? Okay. Because we'd like to um, ask everybody that wa that lives along this route if they can be out cheering these people on. Okay. There's like, what, a Tim, 100 people signed up so far? Uh, yeah, close to 100. Okay. All right. Very good. So we're also going to be, um, you guys have heard about pickleball, the fastest growing sport. Yes. And we need to, so we'll back we're having pickleball, but then I want to revisit that and talk about what okay. it is. From 6 to 7 at the gym, um, there will be pickleball going on where they can you can come in, see what it's all about. If you'd like to pick up a paddle and try it, that would be great. We'll be having sign-ups for pickleball classes if anybody's interested Ooh. Um, and go from there. Then at 7 o'clock, the gym is going to feature some basketball challenges, which Wayne will talk about here in just a minute. And there's going to be some esports tournaments going on in the hallway, which again he will speak to. We okay. know more about that. From seven to seven thirty, we have line dancing. I'm um, that will be outside because the girls want to wear their wear their cowgirl boots, so they're going to. Yeah, dance. we don't want those on the new floor. No, no, <laughs> no way. From six thirty to seven thirty, Mark Wood Fun Show is going to be there doing balloon sculpting and magic tricks. Very Happy good. Birthday, Happy, Happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Um, from 6 to 9, there will be face painting and a little craft for little ones. We are going to have some door prizes people can sign up for. There's going to be a few food trucks. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most fun thing is we're having a dunk tank, and we're trying to figure nice. out who's going into the dunk tank. So if anybody has any suggestions, Not call, it. call the Y. <laughs> call the Y Not and it. let us know. You want to tell them about the sports things? Uh, we're going to have a, a free throw contest for 8 to 10 year old male and female and 13 to 17 year old male and female. And uh, the best of the most free throws consecutive will win a, a trophy in each each group, each age group and male and female. What about old the old fart uh, free throw contest? We're having one of those. Okay, for, awesome. Uh, 18 and up. And uh, <laughs> it'll be a free throw for male and female. It'll also be a three point 
uh, throw for male and female. It'll be the most, the most three point shots in 60 seconds will win the trophy. Gotcha. And then the esports, Tim will have to talk about. Is Mikey this. Strait a band from it? <laughs> she should be. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, well, she's our ringer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sponsor her. <laughs> we have some. She used some, to be so. Good we have some that. basketball yeah. players that come in every day, um, uh, young and old. Uh, we have a few females down there that can uh, shoot the net. I mean, not, yep. knock the eye out of the net. So we've got some people that can shoot some basketball. Heck yeah! We had a tournament on July 30th. 18 teams showed up for that tournament, and uh, we were entertained. We I'll have bet. a lot of talent in our area, Ross yeah. County, Jackson County, uh, Vinton, Gallia. They were all represented. Megs, they mm -hmm. had a lot of teams. And we got some basketball players around here. People don't even realize how, how good some of our players are. That's very true. Yeah. So did yeah. we keep the trophy in the area? I didn't talk to you. Uh, we did not. It went to Chilcotti area. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it went to the guy that won it back in 2019. Yes. Really? And mm -hmm. those four guys, I'm going to tell you right now, we played from 9 o'clock in the morning and 8.45 in the evening is when we stopped. Wow. They did. They got one hour break for lunch. That was it. And those guys showed some phenomenal phenomenal athletic talent. Wow. So, awesome. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. That is very cool. And we didn't have any incidents. I mean, it was very, everybody acted very sportsman. It was very, it was super nice. Good. A lot of people came in to watch. Uh, we had a great time. Good. We'll have a great time Friday. Heck yeah. yeah. Kelly Meredith is taking care of the 5K run walk, and um, it will start oh, at... Oh, there they are. Those guys oh, are super, are. super nice guys right there. Those are the winners? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The guy on the far left, to my far left, be far, yeah, should be far left. Three-point shots. I didn't see him miss but one or two the whole day. Mm. Wow. That's Blake. Yeah, Blake. Where he, he's out of uh, Wellston. And, oh. Uh, what was yeah. it? Dominic? Dominic and then um, Demarcus. Yeah, Mark. Demarcus. Demarcus. And he then, can shoot. Um, he can shoot. What's his name? I forget that. Uh, Brett, Brett Long. Yeah, Brett Long. Out of Oak Hill. Nice. And those guys were super nice. And when they won, they didn't realize what all they were going to win. And you've seen some real humility. So it was Aww, great. It was good. great. Yeah, that's Very amazing. Nice. Brett liked to bring up the point is that they won the trophy back. So <laughs> he got a kick out of that. Taking he it back home. Took it from Tim. He said, I got it back. <laughs> you said, you mentioned they had, they didn't know how much they were going to win. Yeah. That was up. You and Ty yeah. went out there and worked so hard. And we the had more fun doing that than helps. we had putting on a tournament. Yeah. To be honest with Going you. out to businesses and we, people We support. become professional bums. We really did. Nice. And, Love uh, it. The community just, I mean, we went to, uh, Carlisle Insurance walked in there and she was handing money out before I got three words out of my mouth. Aww. Same thing with Pat, Ice Novel. Yeah. I stand there and he walked up and he goes, how much do you want? <laughs> and I, I know it, who you are. What I do you want? I thought Pat was teasing. And he wasn't teasing. He opened up his wallet and he said, how much do you want? Aww. You got him trained well, Kathy. Well, that's for other people. <laughs> not, not, not you. But we went to uh, many area businesses. Uh, uh, Carter's Pizza. John Carter was throwing free pizzas at us. Yeah. Uh, went to Jamestown, Dairy's Jamestown Market. Uh, almost $100 worth of, of uh, gift cards he threw at. I mean, just handing them out. Just bam, bam. I'm awesome. like, man, this is great. So me and, me and Ty, we're getting into this habit. And Tim, <laughs> Tim reels us back in because we want to do it every day. <laughs> but uh, just as, just a, a, an example, what was $585 in cash? Yes. Almost $400 in gift cards. So almost $1,000. Wow. And Good they were them. like... They're they like, didn't what? know what to do. They really didn't. Know. They and we didn't know he was gonna get that much. Sure. So we really we had a good time doing it. So good. we're gonna awesome. do another one in the in December. We holiday classic. Yeah, on uh, Christmas Eve. Yeah, we'd like to. I know that's time people want to be with their families, so we won't have the same type format a uh, tournament where it'll be a thirteen hour day, twelve hour day. Uh -huh. It'll be a little quicker. Uh, there will be some prizes, but. Many of the guys in the tournament are wanting to have another one right now. Okay. They had such a great time on the floor. Good. So we're in the process of getting new rims, getting new uh, bumper pads for the backboards, and uh, we want to get it spiced up a little bit for them. Yeah. I need to ask, how much did they like playing on our floor? I We heard about it all day. 
We heard Good. about awesome. it all day. Awesome. Uh, the fans sitting there, they wanted, well, they wanted to keep getting up walking on the floor. <laughs> you see the old it's floor so pretty. You just kind of yeah. want to do snow angels on it. Like <laughs> The old floor we had was like walking on concrete. When yeah. you walk on this, it has a little spring to it because there's padding under it. Yeah. And you actually feel like, wow, you know, this is the floor. Gives you some pep in your step, huh? So we rival many, many high school and college gyms. I'm not saying we're as good, but we rival them. We're up there. That's awesome. Great. Very fortunate. And thanks to the, of course, uh, local community for supporting that. And this guy yes. right here for not yes. giving up. That's right. <laughs> Appreciation day, night. Appreciation night. Um, I also want to say that there are some people who are uncomfortable with going upstairs and working, not knowing how to work with gym equipment. Yes, so, that's something that we talked about when you were here the other day. Okay. So we have a couple trainers that are going to be there available okay. to be able to show people if they have questions about equipment or how to work them. Ethan so, and Owen, right? Ethan and Owen are the two people that are going to be upstairs. So watch for Ethan or Owen. If you have questions and would like to know about the equipment. Um, I think we mentioned everything else going on. It's going to be a beautiful evening. Yes. It's only going to be like 78 degrees as long as the weatherman holds. Yes. Like it says now. So mm -hmm. it'll be a beautiful evening. National Guard's going to be there National with their uh, some equipment. equipment. Oh, really? Yes. You yeah. get to take a tour of their stuff? That's yeah. fun. Take a ride through town? <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I don't yes. know if they'll do that. Maybe no. no. we get that robot dummy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> get See big, what the National Guard does with that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great idea. Not Who do you think will win? Take care of that way. <laughs> yeah. Take care of that for us. I don't think Wells and High School is going to let me do that. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, mm -hmm. Wayne, let's talk about the eSports for a minute. What do you know about I, that? I have to pass that off to him because okay. him and, him and uh, Garrett are working on that. And okay. I'm not much of a video gamer. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a dinosaur. So okay. Garrett Turner and um, the high school eSports team okay. uh, is putting together a tournament. They have a couple of sponsors. Uh, I'm not going to say out loud who the sponsors are because I don't, don't really sure. know. I That's think okay. one might be Subway. Uh, but they have some sponsors. They got some gift cards. And... A trophy belt. You should just come to try to compete for that trophy belt. Love it. It is so cool. It's about this big, and it's got little cup holders on the side. <laughs> so yes, I mean that would be, that would be cool to hand, you know hold up and say yes. I won. <laughs> but I think they're doing Smash Brothers. I think that's what that's it's what called. called. Yeah, Smash Brothers. I think that's the competition. Um, okay. And Garrett is a gamer. He is um, he's definitely a gamer. He's won some competitions. He's local. He goes to Shawnee State. He works at the Y every summer, mm -hmm. uh, which has been pretty amazing. And um, his mom and dad, both his mom instructs at the Y, and then his dad works out every day at the Y. Awesome. So it, it, it's a pretty cool, cool family, and um, yep. he's running that tournament. Okay, so um, so for all of these things, um, do you just show up, or do you need to pre-register? It's free. What needs to happen? Yeah. Well, they're asking you to pre-register for the 5K. Okay. Um, but if they're last minute, we would just need to have them sign a waiver and get them in with the group. Okay. Everything else is free um, except for the food trucks. Um, sure. Food trucks, we are going to have Richard's Tacos, um, Michael's Ice Cream, and um, there'll be someone will be serving Pizza Hut pizza. Okay. So, and we'll have free water available for anyone who comes. And there will be a welcome table right at the front door uh, with a couple of board members sitting there. It'll be Sandy Borden. <coughs> and Sarah Fox. And Sarah Fox will be there welcoming people. And that's where you'll sign up for door prizes also. Ooh, um, love and that. Then, I think around 7.30, 7.45 is when we're planning on drawing for the door prizes. Okay. Very good. And so it's just a night of fun. Come, if you haven't been to the YMCA, like, take a tour. And it's yeah. just to kind of show off the facility. And, and say thank you. Yeah, say thank you, but also um, show the community what it's all about as well. Because, you know, some people might not even know. There will be, we will have representatives from different programs there to speak about uh, what they do at the Y for us and um, all the opportunities and chances to sign up for things. So that's good too. Oh, very good. See, it's just kind of a, a really great night of, of learning 
a whole lot and having fun. Yeah. Do you know anybody that would be good for the dunk tank besides me? Yeah. Because they're already putting me I in. I mean. Kathy. <laughs> Kathy will be busy. <laughs> She's like, not it also. So we need I've somebody you- that will like. Yell at the crowd and stir them up. And I've asked a few people, but I haven't gotten answers yet. Uh huh. I asked one grade school female principal. I won't say who. And I've asked a couple of different men. Uh, we have some young guys that have offered. That's great. Yes. But we'll we'll find them. We're on the search. We're on the. You hunt. Should get Porterhouse to do it. He's got a big old mouth. Yeah. I think he's going to be busy uh, with yeah. the fair. Oh, that's right. He's yeah. at the fair. Yeah. All yeah. right. So anyhow, we're looking. We'll find some people. Yeah. If anybody has any suggestions, just call the YMCA. What's the phone number at the YMCA, guys? 286-7008. 7008. You yep. can't forget that. That's an easy one. One thing I want to add, we do have some new uh, weightlifting equipment, new exercise machines. Okay. Yeah. Let's- Tim got us a bicep, tricep machine in the hip abductor, adductor. And uh, I would venture, say, five, $6,000 for both of them, maybe close to ten, And it's what the members ask for. Okay. So bikes. We really, really, yeah, oh, and yeah, some bikes. We really, really try to get as much as we can for the members. Like with our sure. ba- basketball tournament, we're using the proceeds from that to put new equipment in the gym for Good. the basketball players. We're starting a swing yeah. class. It's, it has started. A what class? A swing class. The the swing bikes. Spin. Spin. Class. Spin. 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 Oh, spin I'm bikes. like, what are we swinging around? What are we doing <laughs> up in here? That's, 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 that's next. That's, that's next. Bungee. Bungee Woo! class. Sounds but, fun. Yes. Yeah. Spin cycle. We've spin gotten, class, yes. We've gotten a lot of positive uh, comments from people that are taking the classes. Yes. Uh, I personally won't because I'll probably fall off and get run over by the spin cycle. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> But same no, as we're the, having a as the tackling fun. dummy. Yeah. In the line dancing, we're having uh, Brenda Danvers. Yes. Uh-huh. Giving that class, and they just rave about it. And oh, they yeah. will be showing so. their talent Friday night. Okay. Yep. Seven to seven thirty. Very good. There's one of the pieces of equipment James put That's up there. That's the bicep tricep machine. Mm-hmm. So anybody wants to go in and they don't want to work out with free weights, which like sometimes my wrists bother me, I'll use that. Okay. And uh, it's it's so much easier. It doesn't put much stress on your joints at all. Yeah. Uh, it, the weights are adjustable. The back seat's adjustable. I mean, it's just, <clears> it's just fun. It's so it's so nice. We've been wanting that for so long, and he, he got that for us. And we're like, wow. And everybody's using it. It's That's not awesome. Just me, so. Our Santa Claus. Yeah. Yes. And you know, the thing is. is and you, then what's that one? That's the abductor, abductor uh, machine for yeah. hips. Yeah. Okay. So it's out, and then you can turn around and go in. Okay. With your legs. With your legs. Yeah. Okay. And there again, it's very comfortable. It's not. It doesn't stress your joints. Good. And uh, we, we've had a, a lot of people positive about that machine. Well, and I think that, you know, especially like as a girl, like going in, you know, you get intimidated by free weights because yep. you just don't. Well, I, don't I, hope, I just, hope the two girls hard. don't mind me using their names, but we have two excellent female personal trainers, Leanne Massey and uh, Karen Cyrus. Yes. And uh, if you want to learn how to lift, those are the two to get a hold of. Yes. Very personable people. They're very, very nice. Yes. And, but they're knowledgeable. They know what they're doing. So Absolutely. Excellent, excellent people. So you can call the Y for that, too, if you need, Absolutely. need yes. some help. Because, what were you wanting? I'm sorry. What were you wanting to ask about pickleball? Well, just explain it, because I don't know. I've never played pickleball. But I know I've heard of it a lot. Well, we got a crew in there that love it. <laughs> I mean, well, they first love of all, it. It, it's the fastest growing sport. But I, I and it's a national. Is that right? It's a national yes. sport. Oh, now. I turned. I was flipping through ESPN the other day. They were having a big pickleball tournament. Yes, yes. There's a lot of that. Going Which on. they make it look really, really easy, and I know it's probably not <laughs> as easy as they make it look, especially the way they play. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were basically right up to the net, just yes. like wink, just like barely winging at each yes. other. And yes. I was like, oh, that's not easy. It's called dinking. Yeah, we don't do a lot of that. <laughs> not a lot of dinking. A lot of slamming. Yeah, yeah. But pickleball, um, I always say it's a combination of like tennis and badminton. We, we play it with a okay. wiffle ball and a small racket with a short handle. Okay. Two people on each side of a team. The net is a little bit lower than a tennis net. Okay. And the court is a little smaller than a tennis court. Correct, Tim? Yes. Okay. Um, 
I know, and you just you hit the ball back and forth. The technique is, you know, how to hit it, how to how to um, make it go where you want it to go. Okay, and um, it's fun. We have a lot it of really fun. It's but a it's great a, oh, way there's of some people playing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I, I think it's life size ping pong. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah, I was getting ready to say. It, it almost does. kind I mean, of reminds yeah. me of it's ping got pong. A ball. It's got a small paddle, hand, handled paddle. Yeah, that's true. It's just like they're playing on a ping pong table. Look at them. That's kind of yeah. what it looks like, and it doesn't. So the ball doesn't isn't moving as fast as like a tennis ball, no. where you're mm -hmm. having to you know sprint all over the court. Sometimes it does. It does move, but it, <laughs> Some you gotta remember, do. It, it's a wiffle ball. It's got holes in it. So yeah. once it gets going, it's not going to have the same impact like a tennis ball would. Yeah. But, man, it, they have a ball in there, and they put some curves on that ball. It looks like a professional baseball pitcher throwing a curve ball. Nice. It's it's fun. We have a lot of fun, and it's great exercise. So if um, if you want to come and do the pickleball, uh, is that going to be like a tournament too or just learning how to play? And right mm -hmm. now, six to nine, um, some of the pickleball players are going to be there playing. Um, so you can see what it's all about and pick up a paddle and give it a try. Okay, that's great. And Pat Eisenhagel will be there at that table um, signing up people if they're interested. And we just had, uh, a little while back, we had a class, a pickleball class. Okay. And a lot of the people that took the class have stayed on playing. And um, we're going to offer it again, a daytime class and or an evening class, um, what we find people need. Okay. So they'll have that opportunity to sign up for pickleball class. Friday night too. So the pickleball hits at what time? Six to seven? Six to seven. And then seven to nine basketball. Then one half of the gym from seven to seven thirty, Zumba will be doing their thing and that's a lot of fun to watch. And I love Zumba. I haven't done it in a long time, but I love I haven't Zumba. Either, but it's fun. Got some great instructors for that too. Yeah. Yeah, that was We're uh, biased. I mean we really are. But we got no, that's crew. good. No, it's, it's fact, Everybody not being biased. Everybody comes the door and instructs something, their heart's in the right place. Sure. Yeah. And you don't see any of them sad. They're all smiling. And it's not a, a put on. It's them. That's them. That's it. Love that. Especially you. I just sit behind the desk <laughs> and have a good time because I can hear the Zoom of music. I know yeah. they're all there. Then when they all walk out, they're all smiling. Yeah. Except yep. for a couple of them, they're dragging. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm teasing. Like, oh, I'm teasing about I'm tired. that. Most of the people that are Zoom classes... I, I've watched them. I've only been at, at the Y since March, and uh, they're in phenomenal shape compared to what they were when I started in March. Well, I, yeah, I mean, when I was – number one, Zumba mm -hmm. isn't like working out. It's just you're just dancing and right. having right. fun. Yeah. So – and and um, but it is working out. Um, oh, yeah. So – but you're listening to great music, and you're moving around and whatever. They, they wore him out one day. It's funny. Yep. Did you do Zumba? I they do it once a month. him out. Yes. Do you wear the little skirt? No, no bells, <laughs> no nothing he else. He come out of there sweating and he's like, I ain't doing that anymore. <laughs> I say that every month. I go in there and I try it every month. And I last about 30 minutes and that's it. They go for a whole hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who wants to dance they don't stop. for a whole hour? No, they don't, they, don't take, <laughs> they don't take a break. They really don't. They stay constant. Yeah. Song after song after it's song fun. after song. And before you know it, they're done and they're walking and every one of them is they're all wide awake. Yeah. There's no intermission. There's no, no. Like, bathroom break or anything. Well, I mean, there could be if you have to go, but. Especially yeah. with our new floor. Yeah, we don't want, yeah. <laughs> we don't want nothing on the floor uh, like that. No, we don't want, yeah, we don't want, you you know, anything weird happening on the new floor. Um, yeah, they are bringing back Pound, though. Uh, you Do you remember Pound? It's the drumming class. No. Okay. So, so we're what is that? Back. So basically, um, they're Drum called sticks. Pound Sticks. And they're drumsticks, and you just play it and like this. Um, we'll be doing so it in our multi-purpose rooms, uh, so it'll be hitting it on the floor. Sitting on the floor? Uh, hitting on the floor. So, Are you bending over, do you mean? Hitting you do on everything. You're on the floor. You're standing up, hitting down. Uh, you're going sideways doing it. It's I've never cool heard class. of that before. And I'm going to stay far away in case a stick flies out of a hand. <laughs> Because there again, that's my luck. I'll it's walk away and bounce off my head. <laughs> what happened to Wayne? Oh, well, you know, the pound stick got him again. <laughs> when it was in the gymnasium and they had all the people there in there, like 20 people doing pound, it sounded amazing. You could hear the drumsticks on beat huh. uh, throughout the Y. It was pretty cool. 
I feel like I'm, I don't know that I've ever heard of that before. Well, I've heard of the, the drumming, but I didn't know they were down on the floor and hitting the floor. Yes. I thought it was just a arm exercise. I remember that because I got a cramp so bad. I was like, <laughs> cramp, cramp. I was like, still trying to pound at the same time. And I was like, 911, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's so funny. Well, we need to eat your banana before you start. Yes, drink a Gatorade. Yeah, a Gatorade. <laughs> that's right. So, all right. So, lots and lots of fun things going on at the Y in general. But we want you all to come out Friday night um, for this customer mm-hmm. appreciation night because it's a perfect opportunity for you to get to see the Y, get to. Yeah. You know, learn how to play pickleball and and see the new floor and and learn about some of the other things that they do. Um, and family friendly, I assume. Very fam- yes. family friendly. Yeah. There's a, there's one last thing I like to talk about. Sure. Uh, the family night. Everybody, come on now. It's free. Uh, I don't want to try to pull the heartstring or anything like that. But but he's going I, to. I'm going to. <laughs> We're having this active, healthy walk-in challenge. This is our third year. Okay. The way it's set up is pretty amazing. You come Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and everybody should have been signed up by Monday. We only have eight people signed up for this. Um, If the cost is a problem, just come see us. We'll figure it out. Uh, We didn't make this challenge to give money to the Y. We made this challenge to make a difference in people's lives. Okay, so can you can you explain a little bit so, about about what it is? So basically, what it is, you can walk at the Y, you can walk at the park, you can walk on the treadmill on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at the park. It's from seven to nine if you want to, or you can come from six p.m. to eight p.m. in the evening on that same day, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Um, so there's a beginner walker and then there's advanced walker. Okay. Like this week, the first week, the beginner walker in three days, you have to walk 1.5 miles. Okay. Total. Well, that's easy enough. That's easy enough. Uh, but you make your own challenge. So let's say you walk 1.5 miles and that's it. Next week, it'll go up one if you're a beginner. If you're advanced, it'll go up two. So it'll be 3.5 next week. Okay. Let's say you do two instead of 1.5 this week. It'll go up to four because it'll, okay. if you go over what is there, then that means that you're a pretty good walker. Yeah. So you're going to go up to four miles next week, two for that for beginner, and then three for advance. Okay. So there's nobody in Jackson that can beat me, and I'm going to put that out there. <laughs> if you want to come and try – Bring it. Oh, bring it. Oh, so come, challenge. You only have those certain hours to walk. And no, I'm not walking all day long. I work all day long. And then those couple hours, I'll do my walk. Okay. And I want to see somebody else beat me. And you said Monday. Because this is a third year straight that nobody could do 10 miles in a lot of time that we're ha- we have to do it three days a week. Okay, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. Our obesity rate is going outrageous. Yes. Our mission is healthy living. Yes. And I'm not doing my job. I can get you all the bells and whistles. I can get you brand new Gen 4. We can get you the equipment. We can get you bikes. We can get you possibly indoor pool in the future. But we can't get you better health unless you come in and utilize it. Sure. And we need that to happen. And uh, if if I've got to walk out there every day and, you know, the bathrooms, I know people complain about that. I went and cleaned them uh, so they can have a place to use the restroom. You mean uh, at the park? At the park. Oh, I wow. Didn't clean, I didn't yeah. clean the mails because it's just straight up nasty. It's on, uh, it's on Facebook all the uh, time. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but the females, I did clean, so there's some toilet paper in there. The guys now. have other ways. Yep. They don't have to go in there. So there is right? a place to use the restroom. Go yeah, around. y'all just have a very unfair advantage. Walk just down the saying. road track a couple feet, you know. Yeah, you, you're all right. No, ain't nobody looking. Yes. <laughs> Main thing we're trying to do at the Y is we live it. Yeah. We all work out. I, I, I walk every night. I walk every morning. I lift weights four days a week. 
and uh, there's no excuse. I can tell. There's no excuse. <laughs> I, uh, but I had a heart attack in 2019. Okay. I, I was diagnosed as a diabetic in 2020. And uh, I continue to make my doctors have their jaw open when they come in and I do my test with them. Because and you're I taking care that. of yourself. I do that because I, I've been going to the Y. Yeah. And when I started working at the Y, I, I, I find out I learn more from people. I learn a lot up in the weight room. I watch people. I've been lifting since I was 16 years old. So yeah. 44 years now. Yeah. And I still learn every day. And everybody up there is willing to, to, to teach you something. That's one of the only weight rooms I've ever been in my life. I can walk up and say, how do you do that? And then they show me. Right. They don't say, well, look. Because it's no, not a competition like it is, no. with, you know, some of the big it's gyms not. where it's like guys are, you know, being the all. The guy you he mentioned earlier, Mike Turner. Mike Turner will go out of his way. He'll stop his workout and he'll teach you how to work out. And then when he's done with you, he'll go back to his workout. That's awesome. So, And that's like how it should be. See, you want to do Zumba, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we have Kathy some good people. Kathy forgot to turn her phone off. I'm guilty. <laughs> it's it's very cheery. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> Depends on where you're at when you hear that. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Especially in church. Yeah. 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 The preacher Oopsie. might not like that too much. Like, oh, it's Kathy it's some, again. It's somebody calling her saying, he said nasty toilet. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Shut no, that Harvey didn't. guy up. Yes. No. Her board president, her. Probably. Maybe it's somebody calling to tell me who to put in the duct tank. Maybe. But yeah. honestly, yeah. those restrooms in the park, that's nobody's fault. It really isn't because you can't, You can, there's no way people in Jackson can keep them clean when other people don't care. Yeah, no. You have and, people and that don't that care and they go in there and they do it on purpose. Yeah. yeah. There's no way in the world. He cleaned that. I guarantee you in two days from now, you go in there, if nobody touches it, It'll look like it did before we cleaned it. You know, and I know they had a big, like, hubbub at the fairgrounds of people going in and just purposefully, you know, destroying it, vandalizing mm. the restrooms. I thought, you know what? Like, use your energy for something positive, please. Yeah. Yeah. Like, come on. Don't be a douche. Just saying. That was a nice name. Yes. Hey, you're being Thank nice you. today. Thank you. <laughs> Vent. Vent. Zumba. But, but right. yeah, it's, the talk. it's the Zumba talk. But I encourage everybody to come out and do that. The family night, the active healthy walking. Please come do it. So and, do you have to sign up for the healthy walking thing? or Yes. Is that... Yeah, just call the Y or okay. come to the park on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And just walk. Uh you know, uh, we've got four staff members doing it. They're trying to beat my mileage. Um, Do they walk? You just walk around the walk around five point five. So five laps and a half is one mile. Okay, around there. If you want to walk in our gymnasium, it's fourteen laps. If you want to do it on a treadmill, it'll tell you how many miles. It's just sure. take a picture. But each time you walk at the gym or the park, there'll be a facilitator there. Okay, okay. somebody watching question. you. That facilitator will make sure you're safe and, you know, everything's good. Yes. Um, and uh, encourage you along the way and say, hey, you got this. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, you'll probably see me over there saying, let's go faster. You know. Or, Love it. Um, but it's a good time. So please come out. I, I imagine one day there's going to be 100 people walking through there. Yeah. I believe that. I mean, um, uh, we've got to reduce the obesity rate. You just reminded me of something, um, talking about cheering on, um, on the 5k run walk. I'd like to say thank you to the Jackson cheerleaders. They're going to be stationed yes. along the path. Oh, great. Cheering people along. And also the Leos, the Leos. Is they the are group. awesome. Yes. They are awesome kids and awesome leader. They are coming and helping him with the basketball scoring. And we just appreciate everybody Good. that they helped at the Leos helped their to help. tournament on the 30th yeah. and, uh, great very kids. respectful. They are. Kids. They, 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 you just love them. You fall in love with them 10 seconds after you meet them. I know. They have helped me with the, our Furry Friends fundraiser every year that we've had it. And Great um, kids. Great kids. they just show up and you don't have to babysit. And you just yeah. say, could you do this and this? And they do it. And, and I never hear a word from them. And they're awesome. So yeah, yeah. I, they, I showed them how to use the scoring boards that we were using, the, the scoring uh uh, parts that we use at, yes. the, at the Y, 
And as soon as I showed it to them, they picked it right up and boom, I forgot about them. Yeah. I was ever doing something else and I'd look back and there they are. And nobody <laughs> asked for a break. You guys want to pop? You want something to eat? No, nah, no, nah, we're good. Yeah. And man, they just loved it. They had a good time. Yeah. They're, they're, they're really good What about kids. the businesses and the houses along the way? If they want to uh, cheer on? Yes. Yeah. Along the route. Do you know, um, can you kind of give an idea of what the route is, just so people know? I, I think, Up Main Street. Yep. So and you're going to turn left, left on, on Broadway. Pl- Broadway, not Portsmouth, right? That I'm not sure. James, did you say you could bring that map up? <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't find it on your Facebook. Well, oh, we, sure. know it's, we know it's Main Street, Broadway, Portsmouth Street. Oak. Oak Street. Oak to Oak, okay. And uh, South. Do you have the map posted somewhere? South Street. No, I love. I had one In with me, and I left it over with the radio guys. Want me to go get? I got it. Oh, okay. But it's a, it's a, it's five k, and uh, we've got close to hundred people signed up. That's awesome. And if you want to sign up, you just call the Y. Just call the Y. That's all. Right. You don't have to come in. Just call and say, "Hey, my name is Wayne Thought. I want to go on the the Glow Five K, and we're registered right now." Okay. It's free. Doesn't cost a penny. Oh, it's free. You can get in here and go. It's all free Friday night. Except for food trucks. Except for food trucks. Yes. You got to pay for the bubble. Yeah. Yeah. If you want Michael's bubble, (laughs) you're going to throw out a couple dollars. It's worth it. Trust us when we tell you if you are one an an unfortunate person that has never had a Michael's bubble, uh, you need to. I'm not sure if this map is going to help anybody understand anything better. It's well, addictive. If you'll well, get, if you'll bring just it give here, it to we us and we'll we'll read it. Yeah. It, it yeah. is addictive. There you go, Jen. Okay. So you're going to go um, right on Main out of the Y. Then you're going to go left on Portsmouth. So you're going to go all the way down Main through town, left on Portsmouth. Mm-hmm. Um, Where the Veterans Park. Yeah, right at the ve- left at the Veterans Park. Uh, turn right onto Broad Street. And then follow Oak, Oak all the way up, turn left onto Star Street, turn left onto South Street, then turn, okay, then you're going to turn left onto Broadway, which brings you back back out to Maine, and then follow Maine all the way back to the YMCA. Yes. So from 8 to 9 o'clock this Friday night, you people who live on those streets, get your chairs out there, be ready to cheer these Love people that. on. Just a... Uh, Great night. Have some fun. Yeah, and that's, again, 8 p.m. Um, yeah, eight. we're having a beer club meeting, so we'll just um, we'll just cheer you on. Oh, good, good. <laughs> okay. That's great. At the new place. So, yeah. Good. <laughs> good. There may be a beer in one hand and a cheer in the other. Cool. but A beer A beer and a meeting. cheer. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We'll tell them all that ahead of time. Yeah, so and if anyone's running and wants to stop, hey, I mean, <laughs> more power to you. <laughs> Keep on going. Um, but, yeah, that starts at 8 p.m., so that's awesome and uh, will be a very good time. And so maybe you can have a hydration table there with water. With water. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> yes. I love that idea. Yes. Yeah. And um, can you walk as yeah. well? Yes. Like, yes. like walk. you don't have to run. You can crawl. You can walk. It will be all ages. Your, you know, the yep. stroller. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Just join in the fun. Yeah. That's the whole point. It just just for people to have fun for the day. Community. For the fun. night. Yeah. Community Just get together and have a good time. Right. Very good. And this is the first year we've done it. So it may, you know, could grow into an annual thing. We'll see. Love that. All right. I gotta get back so to the cheap work night out. Yeah. Cheap no- we like that. Cheap is good right now. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. However much it costs you for whatever you want to eat at the food truck, that's your only cost. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you don't get that very, very often. No. All right. Well, we'll let you get out of here. Thank get you. back to work. I'm You're going. You're going to get fired if not. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, right. <laughs> she wishes. No. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Please go out and see them this coming um, weekend. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, so let's do the weather. And um, so the good news is cooler temperatures in the forecast and uh, some rain the next um, like day or so, but much cooler temperatures. And um, is today Tuesday or Wednesday? I can't remember. Wednesday. Today's Wednesday? Okay. So Wednesday, today, much cooler, a little bit of rain in the forecast off and on. Um, then tomorrow, 
again, cooler temperatures, which is great. Some sunshine. And then look at that all the way through to Monday. Absolutely gorgeous weather. Um, highs in the uh, upper 70s to low 80s. And you just don't get much better than that, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um Let's see. Fly in also Fly in at in. the at this the, Saturday. Yes, this Saturday at the um, James A. Rhodes Airport, and it's the Jack Stone Memorial Fly In. There's going to be all kind of great things: plane rides, um, all kind of fun uh, aircraft yeah. that will Freaking fly in. Tank thing. Yeah. Whatever. It's so cool. I don't, know, I don't know what that technical name for that thing the is but i'm thing. gonna call it a tank thing yeah the scary tank thing yeah um but anyway yeah that'll be 11 a.m to 3 p.m uh there'll be refreshments um and a pancake breakfast and all that fly in this coming saturday morning at the james a Rhodes memorial international airport that's what we call it yeah that's what very international it. very international i would say someone international's flown in before Oh well, yeah, not not. Well, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Never know. I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah. So that's something else going on this coming weekend. So lots and lots of stuff going on. Um, also, don't forget we are Kenny giving away Chesney. two four packs tickets. It's a, a lot of tickets. That's, that's eight tickets. Eight tickets. Two four packs to see Kenny Chesney in concert. We'll be giving that away. What Friday? Friday. We're going to do a drawing. Here on the radio or on the TV, uh, the concert is actually August 18th at the old Crew Stadium. The historic, the historic Crew Stadium. stadium. The, first the one by the fairgrounds. It's the first profession, professional soccer only stadium in the country. Oh, cool. So if you want to see Kenny Chesney, Dan and Shay, Carly Pierce will be there as well. It's going to be an amazing concert. And we are giving away two four pack tickets. And there's not a bad seat in the house there. So no. if you're interested in going, uh, you need to visit our Facebook page. Yeah, Main Street TV Facebook page. Find that picture of Kenny Chesney sitting on the beach with his guitar. Yes. Or I guess he doesn't have a guitar. He's just sitting on the beach. No, nah, he's just chilling on the beach. <laughs> but he's not facing the ocean, he's facing away from the ocean. That's right. Like, you know, like you do when you're at the beach, sit with your back to the ocean. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you can sign up. You have to just basically like our Facebook, uh, the comment, or yeah. like, make a comment. comment Be and sure to make share. a comment. Yes. Yep. Um, so have you been to a concert at Historic Crew Stadium? I have been to numerous concerts yeah. at Historic Crew Who Stadium. Who have you seen at Historic Crew Stadium? Uh, lots of Kenny Chesney at really? Historic Crew Stadium. Okay. Um, so Kenny Chesney's worth seeing multiple times. Oh yeah, yeah. So Kenny Chesney concerts like a Buffett concert. It's an yeah. event. Okay. It's not like you just you know how some concerts you drive to the concert, you watch the concert, and you leave. Yeah. No. Okay. This is like you show up in the morning, you tailgate all day. Everybody's just like having a blast. There's lots yeah. of there's lots of truck bed pools okay. and all oh, kind of crazy of stuff like that. I know we've got one of we've those. We've got one of those. And um, we're running out of summer. Maybe we should need a. Event. Can we put that in the back of Jamie's truck? Yeah. Do the show. Do the show for the truck bed one day. We have to clean it out first. <laughs> James knows why. It's not, it's, it's, not a, it's not a truck pool. It's a truck pond. It's a truck cesspool. Truck, cess. <laughs> truck um, water treatment plant. Yeah. But, of course, you can just drive to a Kenny Chesney concert going and whatever. But there is an all-day, mm -hmm. for sure, vibe of, of tailgating and, you know, just Interesting. having a blast. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a good time. I didn't know that was a thing with Kenny Chesney. Oh, okay. very much. I don't know. Ken, I don't know any of his songs. Yes, you do. You I mean, know you said the Kenny tractor set, tractor sexy song. I guess I knew that, but I don't know if I've ever actually heard that song. You know, a million I'm just Kenny Chesney aware songs. Aware of that song? Yeah. I don't know. Let's let's uh, see if I can recognize one other Kenny Chesney song. You, I promise you, you know Kenny Chesney songs. You can't I don't not. Know. It's like osmosis. I don't know. All right, Kenny Chesney. Um, popular songs on Prime. Half of my hometown. No, is that a hit? These are maybe his best songs might not be on here. I don't know. Uh, American Kids. No, yes. everyone's gonna be all right. 
Yep. She thinks my tractor's sexy. Mm -hmm. You and tequila. Mm -hmm. Setting the world on fire. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. All the pretty girls. When the sun goes down. Game over. Summertime. Don't blink. Yeah. I don't know any of those. Yeah, <laughs> At least not do. by the you name. You just don't know that you know. Maybe, maybe I heard it. I know it, but. Yeah. Not by the name. But anyway. Yes. So but it's I, a blast. Yeah. If I can't remember been. if I told this on High the show. fun. Or just you off the air. But the only show I've ever been to at Cruise Stadium was Bob Dylan and Eric Clapton showed up unannounced. And we're That's like cool. we're like front row all the way up. And one of my buddies is like looking off the side, like, that dude over there looks like Eric Clapton. <laughs> oh. He's just like standing in the wings, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was him. It was Eric yeah. Clapton. I guess he had a house in the Columbus area or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Who knew? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think of who else I've seen at Cruise Stadium. Kenny Chesney's obviously the first one that pops into my mind. Um, but anyway. Cool. So, yeah. But yeah. We're it's giving a great those place. tickets away. It's a great away. venue for a concert. Yeah. It's big. It's big and there's but there's not like a bad seat. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it's, it's Well there's really, no like obstructed view or anything like you might get in like an arena. Or in an auditorium or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Where there's yeah. It's it's really good. And that you know, just the stadium in itself is very nice. Mm -hmm. You know, like the bathrooms and the um, you know, the venues to get stuff, food and beer and nice water. Water. If you want water. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated at Kenny Chesney concert. Okay, so what is the sandbar? Okay, so the sandbar is is awesome. Okay. So Because it makes me think of like at those water parks where they have like a lazy river with a bar. <laughs> no, the sandbar is, so you know, if you're at the ocean and you're standing on the sandbar, right? You know what that is. You mean like a bar on the beach or you mean like... No, like the sandbar like, in the ocean. You just like an island. Yeah, so like if you're swimming in the ocean, there's a sandbar. It's okay. like more like, you know, you're you're just kind of standing on it or whatever. It's not super deep. Okay. So the sandbar is basically the Kenny Chesney stage goes this way and then it comes out like a T. Okay. And the sandbar are the two Standing only sections mm -hmm. beside the T. Okay. So, so is there is there not actually sand involved? No. Oh, it's I thought it was like done up it. to look like the beach or something. No, but just because you know Kenny Chesney's all about the ocean, like a lot yeah. of his songs. He's are about all his... about sitting with his, facing away from the ocean. <laughs> I don't think he does that very much. That's just a picture. <laughs> but so the sandbar <laughs> seats are not seats; it's a standing only section. But the cool thing is he spends a lot of time out on that ramp. So if you can okay. get up Good. to it, you're like, he's right gotcha. there. Okay. Oh, my God. Funny story about this. So Jamie and I are in the sandbar, mm. one concert, and we met these two girls, and they were hilarious. So, you know, like Elvis concerts or whatever, like women would throw like their bras, like Tom Jones or whatever. Mm-hmm. These girls were wild, and they were so funny. So they show up at the concert, and I don't know how we got to stand in with them, because, but they were so fun. And they come with their bra, these bras that are like, I mean, <laughs> I don't know where they found them. Like the biggest bras that you will ever see. And uh, they had them on over their clothes. Uh-huh. So when Kenny Chesney comes down, you know, everyone's like trying to give him flowers or whatever. And these girls are like, Kenny! And he like totally stops and like takes the bras from him. And the whole, because, you know, it's on the video. Yeah. And the whole, like, we were dying. It was so funny. Oh, my God. So there you go. So Idea. if you win the tickets, bring your bras. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't not because it was so obnoxious that it was hilarious they were so fun so yeah it's just so things like that at the concert yeah cool yeah no one threw an oversized brawl at bob dylan or eric clapton no, I, I bet they didn't they're a little more mellow yeah kind of like seeing james taylor in concert i don't know if it's that mellow but yeah he's pretty cool though yeah love james taylor love james taylor too yeah very very cool dude all right uh so yeah sign up for the tickets 
Yes. So lots going on this weekend. Mm-hmm. Love Go, it. Do that 5K. Do that pickleball thing. All of that and... No uh, pickles involved, apparently. No pickles. I was completely wrong. There are balls involved, but not pickles. That's true. Yes. I was completely wrong. You were? You thought that they yeah. hit pickles? Now, no, I thought it was like dodgeball, but with pickles. You just chuck pickles at each other. <laughs> I mean, we could start a new sport. Dodge pickle. If you can dodge a pickle, you can dodge a ball. Dodge, duck, dive, du- du- dive. Dodge, duck, dip, and dodge. dodge. <laughs> if you haven't seen the dodgeball movie, you need to. It's pretty funny. There's a guy on our team that dresses like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> classic pirate steve all right well have a great day everyone we thank you so much for tuning in thanks to the people from the our friends from the y c a for coming in and uh talking about this weekend this uh friday lots and lots of fun going on we'll tell you more about it or we'll tell you about it again tomorrow just to remind you so all right have a great day have a great day james thanks jen you have a great day thanks james Appreciate it. And we'll be right back here tomorrow with news, I assume. Yeah. Breaking news. Ba-deep, ba-deep, ba-deep. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye.